you're 25 years of age and you have spent having your lips plumped and various other things smoothed out to look like Kim. How much have you spent? I've spent so far £130,000. Over the course of what period of time? Probably about six years, six, yeah. seven years. It sort of started when I was 19, like I got my eyebrows tattooed on. Um, and it just kind of went from there, really. Like, I was a student, so obviously this is before government made loads of cuts and I had, like, a lot of student loan. Um, and, yeah, I started getting lip filler. Uh -huh. So you're using okay. your student loan yeah. for that. Yeah. You see why the government was tempted, maybe, yeah. too. <laughs> to curb those grants. <laughs> um, right from the start, was the plan to look like Kim Kardashian? No, it wasn't. And obviously, it's quite a hard thing to get rid of, that label. Like, everybody... People will shout at me in the screen, ''Oh, my God, there's the Kim Kardashian guy!'' And I didn't, obviously, pay to look like him. Like, obviously, if I paid to look like her, 130000 I'd be getting my money back. I'd ask for a no, refund. No, you're not, you're not far not off. Away, man. No, <laughs> I haven't seen your bottom yet, but, um, no, the rest of it... I'll show you later. <laughs> so, so, it didn't start with just an obsession with Kim. You just... That's evolved as it has, this has gone on. Yeah, it was, you know, Kim started getting procedures on Keeping Up With The Kardashians and she started getting lip filler and things. But ever since a young age, I've always been, like, obsessed with, like, celebrity plastic surgery and it's just grown and grown and grown. And I think when I, I originally did my story, which obviously got me all the TV work, got me noticed, um, they put the, the Kim Kardashian spin on it. Like, they said, who's your idol? And I said Kim Kardashian. So they obviously took it and ran with it. Gotcha. So tell me what you've had done, because obviously your lips, which we've seen there. So yeah. from head to toe, tell me what you've had done. So I've had two nose jobs, I've had a chin implant, I've had neck liposuction, I've had my eyebrows tattooed on, I've had lip filler, I've had cheek filler, I've had smile line filler, jawline filler, I've had a non-surgical thread facelift, I have a full face of Botox, um, vampire facials, I have regular Nitox vampire treatments. Um, just So you showed it on the show earlier, you know the micro-needling? Yeah. It's similar to that, but it's a lot more invasive and a lot more deeper and you get a better result out of it. And I'm just so lucky, um, the lady who was doing that, Maxine McCarthy, she's took me on board and her team, they've really helped me, you know, to... You don't need all of this, you don't need the big lips. So, so she was the one that convinced so me what to now, smaller. Does that mean you've stopped or you want some of it reversed? Um, I'm just going a bit more own act around now. Like, I just think... I get a bit bored, so, like, I have things done and then <laughs> I get, like, an initial buzz and then the buzz goes and it's kind of like, oh... Would you not sort of think, over five or six years, you've spent £130,000, would you not, like, sort of think, I could have had an Aston Martin for that? <laughs> would, you, would you not have other ambitions, you know? Yeah, but I just think to myself, what's the point with an ugly, old-looking face getting out of an Aston? You'd rather, like, a good-looking face getting out of a banger. Yeah. It's just... I love it, you know, and I've always paid for it myself, and that's one thing that I stress. Because mm -hmm. whenever, like, I see news articles, people are always like, oh, he's a drain on the NHS. And But I've never had anything done on the NHS. No, of course not. Ever. I've always but paid for it myself. Do, again, do you not sit sometimes and wonder who the real you is? Do you wonder, have you any idea what you would look like if you hadn't had all this done? Do you not <laughs> pine for what... No, I mean, there, there, there you are. are. This is a younger you. Oh, my God, that's awful. Do you hate that? What do you I don't do you hate it. That's me and my mum on my graduation. I don't hate it. Like, I don't know... I never hated myself, and that's the thing. Mm. I ne at that time, I never looked in the mirror and thought, oh, my God, I hate myself, mm. I, I hate it. I just... I've grown and I've had things done, and it's just part of... It's a hobby for me. I love getting it done. It's not... But then where do you stop, Jordan? Where do you stop? What, I mean, what, have you got other plans now? Yeah, I've got some more stuff planned. I'm like going to have another nose job in October. Um, just to make my nose a bit smaller, like, I'm not 100% happy with it. Mm. Um, and I just think, you know, I don't think I ever will be, like, 100% happy with my nose. Like, I've always... That's always been my hang-up with my body. I've always hated my nose. Ever since I was younger, I had a big yeah. nose. And even after nose jobs, I'm still not really 100%. Well, you can, can I say your complexion is amazing? Oh, so, yeah. uh, absolutely incredible. You think that's those treatments? And... Yeah. Definitely. I mean, I always had good skin before. I mean, she's got good skin. Obviously, Kim, she has the vampire treatment. But the Nitox definitely helps. I've just noticed mm. I never get breakouts, I never get spots. No, you look great. And what about when you're going around Manchester? What, what's the reaction from people? You know, it's really positive. Like, obviously, on social media, like, you guys have probably seen, somebody tagged me in this morning Facebook and they were like, look what people are saying, and it obviously doesn't bother me. But in real life, people <laughs> are so positive. It doesn't, it, honestly, yeah. it does not faze me. And what about your mum? What about your mum, who gave birth to you? 
my mom, you know what? I love my mom so much, and we're so close. Like, we're such a close knit family. My mom doesn't always agree with everything I have done. She doesn't think that yeah. I need it. She doesn't really, she's not 100% on I me mean, doing TV yeah. work. She doesn't but really she like that. You. But she loves me, she and loves she you. supports me anyway. Well, that's pretty. It's fascinating talking to you, Kim. I mean, Jordan. <laughs> Sorry. But... For more of the same, just click here. And don't forget, you can subscribe for even more of these amazing videos exclusive to our channel. Where did you have implants apart from your breasts? Face, breasts, everything. You name it, I had implants. And in areas you wouldn't even dream of having implants. Like what? <laughs> like your bottom? Your... Bottom, um, hips, um, just everywhere. Everywhere? Yeah. So they've all Cheeks, been... Cheeks, chin. All... Really?